Recently, Education Sector released On Her Majesty's School Inspection Service, which outlines how school inspections have become part of the accountability system in England. Hello, I'm Chris Amundsen, and I'm here with Craig Gerald, who's the author of the report, and he's going to discuss with us some of its key findings. Craig, in the paper, you talk about the very different ways that the United States and England have set up their school accountability systems. Maybe you could briefly identify some of the ways that the systems are the same and some of the ways that they're different. Sure, sure thing. Um, one way to think about it is think about how do you evaluate a school, an institution as complex as a school. In the United States, for the past 10 years, we focused on outputs, right? Test scores, graduation rates, things that you can quantify. And then we've essentially fed those data into a spreadsheet formula. And it spits out an answer. What is the school's rating? Did the school make adequate yearly progress, didn't it? Um, in England, they use an inspection system, which I think provides a much more robust approach to evaluating a school. They look at test scores, they look at graduation rates, they look at all of the data, but then they also visit and observe classrooms, they watch teachers and students at work, they interview students, they talk to parents, um, they follow the principal and observe how the principal works. Um, and so outputs are important, but they also take a look at what's causing the outputs in, the, in a school. So tell us a little bit, give us a little flavor, and I know you've done this much more extensively in the paper, but what sorts of things might an inspector be looking for when he or she went into a classroom or into a school? Right, so one really important part of an inspection system is having a common framework that guides inspectors in what to look for. Inspectors can decide how they want to look for the evidence, but there are certain kinds of evidence they look for. So for example, they'll visit a set of classrooms and they'll apply a rubric for evaluating the teaching and they'll take a look at whether um, teachers have adequate expectations for students, right? And they'll take a look at the kinds of support that teachers are providing from students in the classroom. And are teachers differentiating instruction according to the needs of different students? Um, and they'll be able to see that by examining the student work in the classroom, watching the students at work, watching the teachers at work. Um, they'll have conversations with uh, the school principal to talk, to talk about whether the principal is monitoring the quality of instruction. Is it low, is it high, is it variable? How is the principal supporting improvements in instruction? How does the principal plan for improvements in the school? Is the principal able to kind of do a, a self-analysis to say, is this school improving? What could we do to improve? Um, and are they following up on it? Well, now we know that there are lots of differences uh, between England and the United States, and not the least of them, of course, is simply distance. But um, do you think that it would be possible for something like an inspection system to operate in the United States? Do you think it would work here? I think it could work here. Right? <laughs> Whether it would work depends on how it's designed, how it's implemented. Um, one really important aspect um, in, in most inspection systems abroad is that they don't rely on volunteers to be the inspectors. They don't say, hey, teachers and principals, volunteer, it's a professional development exercise for you, go off and inspect this school. They have professional inspectors. Um, in England, they have a cadre of very professional full-time inspectors called Her Majesty's inspectors because technically they re report up to the Queen. Um, and um, they also have additional inspectors they, they obtain through contracting with inspection service providers. But all of them receive a great deal of training. They're all professional inspectors and not volunteers. Um, the other thing they do is they spend a great deal of time on quality control, right? So they look at the evidence from an inspection. Does the evidence match the rating? And they do rate schools as outstanding, good, satisfactory, or inadequate. Um, and so if we really took seriously the critical design elements for doing it right, we could do it right here. You know, there's a, an awful lot more in the paper, including, you know, thorny issues like what might such a system cost. So if you are interested in this really provocative and very exciting new idea, I encourage you to visit our website, www.educationsector.org.